Here we go. Business just picked up. The man is alive. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Ricochet! And known for his daredevil, high-flying style, Ricochet actually says that he, he loves to clear his mind and shove out the negativity so he can be fully present in the moment when that bell rings. Well, Ricochet is busy clearing out his mind so he can blow yours. Ricochet can do anything and everything you had ever imagined between the ropes. Anderson is ready for action. And his opponents first, representing the club by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson. One of the most ruthless superstars on WWE's roster, known to raise hell in the ring and raise hell after the show like nobody else in the business. One thing Carl Anderson has gravitated towards is always sticking to what brought him to the dance. Very physical style in Japan he has adopted and taken that here to WWE to achieve success. The Scottish Psychopath. And from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. I believe a future world champion in WWE. McIntyre takes credit for the destruction of this shield, for eliminating Kurt Angle from WWE for a period of time. No fear in the eyes or the heart of the Scottish psychopath. One of the most intimidating individuals you will ever meet inside a wrestling ring. Championships. He has done that in a major way, a 13-time world champion.
Randy recently etched his name in history as one of WWE's few Grand Slam champions, and the Viper has shown no signs of slowing down, just as dangerous now as the day he burst on the scene. Precise. Oh, stomping away. Brain Buster! Not showing much fight here. Yeah, he looks absolutely out of it, Cole. The Ronnie Meteora. Controlling the arm. This is gonna be big. From the top row, German suplex! This contest can produce chaotic scenes. Corey, how does a competitor survive the mayhem and destruction to win the match? Well, in totality, you must be able to thrive in a hostile environment against three hostile opponents. Dominance can be fleeting in partnerships. Here we go. Carl Anderson is making his presence known. Wow, missed by a mile. Had that one well scouted. I don't think this is the right time for Carl Anderson to be showing off. Impact. Ooh, and he's heading back in. Look at this. Hooked up. Back suplex. Look at this. Carl Anderson with a nice reversal. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. The Fatal 4-Way match works like this. Four superstars are in the ring all at once. There are no countouts and no disqualifications. You have four superstars who are throwing down in the ring all at the same time, and they can fight anywhere they want to. It's mass hysteria. This is how people end up getting hurt. Setting up. Looks like out center power bomb. All right, cross body. <laughs> and it's obvious that Carl Anderson's having a good time in there. Uh oh. Look at him. Oh, KO! Did that just happened. Setting up. Oh, caught off guard. This might be it. We got a rope break. Boom, what a kick. And the big right hand. Unloading. Boom. A leg drop. We've seen him here a few times tonight. We can say ready to strike. Line. This could be the chance he was looking for. This is Ricochet's chance. Here's another look at that amazing move from Ricochet. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back.
This guy's dominance in the Fatal 4-Way match is simply undeniable. What a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you to everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us.